Hello Aries couples. I am Phoenix Rising and if you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. Um, if you're new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me, and if you're returning Aries, um, thanks for coming back. So, I'm here to do a love read. This will be the last love read for September for you guys, and then we'll move on to October. <clears throat> I'll start fresh for October for all your love reads. Um, guys, so, okay, anyway, I did a 12-card spread and three-card spirit messages, um, as far as soulmate reading. So I'm going to just jump straight into your read, Aries. You are... You have the Ace of Wands. Um, for some of you, you might be dating another Sagittarius or Leo or Aries. Um, you could have... You know, but this is about being frustrated with something not starting. Aces is about beginnings. New beginnings, new something. So with it in reverse, something is not moving fast enough for you. Something is not... It's not fast enough. It's not a new beginning. It's not coming quick enough for you. You're getting frustrated. You're irritated. You know, it might make you a little impulsive a little bit, but it's like, you know, you really want this new beginning with this person. Whether it's like on a new venture, it's something about something that's just not moving fast enough. Maybe some plans you guys discuss um, are not going the way accordingly you feel like they should go or they, they feel. So it's a hold up. Because I asked the deck why was the ace in reverse, and I got the ten of cups, which is, which is Leo. I'm there. Yeah, maybe you're dealing with a Leo, <laughs> but no, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Ten is about completion, but it also is about overkill and terror. So at the end of the day, and cups is about emotion. So it's like a over a uh, wanting a family life of this basically. The ten of cups is wanting to have. Um, how do I put this? Mm, mm, mm. You wanted to have a good home. Wanted to have peace and contentment. Wanted to have peace and contentment. But being frustrated because you don't have that. You're not having something you want. I think a lot of you guys are fighting about money. Because you got two tens and them two family cards. And it's like um, one is up. So it's basically saying that's what you want to be happy. But what's making you unhappy is pinnacles. You think coins. Some of you could be with a Taurus, a Virgo. Or a, a Capricorn. But it's basically saying, you know, y'all money getting low. There's something going on with the money. And you feeling some type of way. Like, I don't know. This is um like family matters, wills, uh, signing of papers, stuff like that I'm picking up. Like something dealing with um contracts, money, wills, prosperity, family matters, wills. Yeah. But... Okay, wait. Yeah, this is like family misfortunes, money, hazards. Yeah, something causing the something, some something in the family life not growing at the speed it should because of financial drain, and maybe other stuff. That's just one thing. You got the emperor. He is sitting upright. Some you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This emperor is um, stuck in his ways. He's kind of controlling. Um, it's I wear the pants. I I make the decisions. Um, not wanting to hear hear you. No growth. It's like um, you know he's not open to opposing opinions or sides. I want to say it's like he's not well at listening to what your needs are, what you feel y'all should do. It's all in what this emperor feels like. This emperor, you know, uh, he's like it's like will, leader, leadership, self control, strength. But he calls the shots. He wears the pants. Scorpio energy. And then you got the uh I was like, okay, so how do you know how is that making everyone feel? Well, you got the five of swords in reverse. Five is about conflict and terror. Um and if you look it like somebody just had a fight and they walking off like, yeah, you know, yeah, you, you might be mad, but you know, like that. But it's um somebody's pride is in the way. Yours or your mates. It's somehow not swallowing your pride, having too much pride. But this is an empty victory, which means you ain't get, you didn't get, you didn't win. You feel like you, you might have felt like you won that argument, but your ass ain't won that argument because we still ain't got nowhere type of feel. Like, oh, you might have had the last word, but you know that don't matter because we still in turmoil. We still ain't, we still didn't find an agreement, a common ground with this emperor. Um, this is also 
beware of interference. So this emperor could be talking to anyone outside of the relationship, family members, another person, somebody, and and that interference is in their ear, and that might be why they're smelling their damn self. You got the uh, ten of wand. I mean, ten of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, for some of you, a lot of air energy here. Um, a lot of air energy here for some of you, uh, Aries. What's it gonna say? The Ten of Swords. This is um hoping. This is the hope that you're you were hoping with this argument things will improve. This conversation things were supposed to improve with the Ten of Swords. But it was difficulties of planning. You guys are still arguing about plans. And you're not coming to an agreement on these plans. Yeah. You're still arguing about the future of things. What's going to go on. And you're not coming to an agreement. That's what this is about. This conflict. Not coming to an agreement with this person. So. You got the 9 and the 10. You got the 9 and the 10. Somebody ain't sleeping that night. Libra. Aquarius, Gemini energy with this nine of swords. This is like suffering, burdens, misery. Mind your time. This is up at night, crying. Can't can't get the situation off their mind. Worried, upset, and fucking turmoil. What the fuck is going on here? Because this emperor, whether you, I mean, this um high priestess, whether you a man or a woman. Um, it's in reverse, okay? So I feel like there is some infidelity as well here. And that's why someone's up at night conflicted about that as well for some. Take it how it resonates. Um, the high priestess, you know, she's... Something, it's, it's basically about some being fake. Some cheating, some lying, some, um, some superficial shit. And it's like, don't get so high up on your high horse with your mate. It's like, don't get so high up on your high horse. You forget shit because you're getting cocky. This is con like, uh, and this is also just uh, an a, a unhappy woman in a relationship for some of you. But some of you, someone stepping out with either a J or a B, <clears throat> the person that they, um, I'm picking up those letters, honestly. So, but yeah, this high priestess for some of you is um, your energy of how you feeling about this. You just unhappy with it. You up at night. The high priestess is, in, is upset. Because of all this conflict. You got the, the five of um, wands. And this is somebody, um, they may got all these suitors. These are suitors too. This is feeling like you got to fight for your mate's attention. Fight for their they, um, attention. You know, who they talking to, who they entertaining. Um, and five is conflict. So you got double conflict. You got some shit going on here. You got some conflict. Um, what's I going to say? And yeah, like... Uh, and you're struggling with the strength to overcome the situation. But this is competition. And you're struggling with to overcoming the situation and what's going on. It's keeping you up at night. It's making you unhappy. You got the Ace of Pentacles. It is sitting upright. The Ace of Pentacles is uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, this is also about beginnings of material and conference of gain. And that's what this is about. You get wanting to gain money, put it away, to put up to make you comfortable, gaining gaining stability, gaining money, gaining a stable foundation. Something that's just not um, with this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this Ace of yeah, this Ace of Pentacles, wanting family life, wanting happiness, wanting completion. Yeah, because you got uh, what's I gonna say? Yeah, because you feel like y'all supposed to be stable. It's the conference again of being in a stable situation, a new beginning. But with this three of cups, someone, like I said, infidelity with the high priestess and with the three of cups, this is like uh, interference. That's why I said you had outside interference. That's why I said that. Somebody talking. And this three of cups, you got um, Virgo. I mean, shit, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy again. Uh, with this three of cups. This is. Um, some of you will solve your problems. Okay. A lot of you will solve your problems. Is what this card means. Um, solving problems. Um, and healing. And good fortune coming. 
and making that decision, making a good decision for that 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 stability to come. Okay, for some of you, with the two making a good choice, and this is about someone cheating but making the right choice as well. Or it, it could be not sleeping with somebody, it could be entertaining somebody was sleeping around, but entertaining. You got the two of uh, swords. Um, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. With the two of swords, is about making a decision, but confused about making this decision. It's telling you to look for, uh, look to harmony for friends and uh, family to help you make this decision about this cheating person for some of you. Because you're not gaining nothing out of the situation. That's what you want, but you're not gaining anything. And that, that's the issue. You got um, forgiving and learning. It says, as, uh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Self-explanatory. This is a true love situation. Um, true love this is a romance of a lifetime that's what you're still feeling that's why you up at night they can't you know not they're not making a the decision they not bending so much damn conflict going on about money and infidelity mostly that's it that's what I'm feeling you got attraction. You attract you you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So it's telling you to basically get out your head. I mean, get out your heart and your head, honestly, and enjoy yourself. Don't let this consume you so much that you are not living your life. You're staying up at night. You, you know, you're upset. Even with the money thing, you need to pray and manifest whatever it is you want for your final outcome. And even for your partner to change his ways, it's manifestation season. We just had a super moon last night. So get with it. Get with it, Aries, okay? I am Phoenix Rising, guys. This has been your love read. Um, it's good for the rest of September. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me, Aries couples. This has been your love read. I love you guys. Love and light. I'm Phoenix. Bye, guys.